Hi everyone and welcome to this WordPress tutorial. Today we're gonna have a look at a theme called Vertex. This is a business theme from uh, elegantthemes.com. It has a nice and clean professional look. We have a menu right here. We have a background image, a site title and a tagline. We also have a call to action button. We have the latest post right here. We have our theme we also have the background image right here with our call to action and we have a footer with widgets so about me menu latest post if you go up here and click on blog we have a blog with blog posts we also have a portfolio with the website that I've created we have our team so this is the team members of this website you can add the skills of each person add a name what to do on the company then we can go to contact us you can add the image right here you can add contact us the customers can add name email address subject message they can also add a captcha three plus five so they have to enter eight and I click on submit okay so if you go back to home okay so this is the website we will set up with this uh, WordPress tutorial of course uh, you will have to have a hosting plan from a hosting company if you go to my website I will leave a link below you can read about HostGator a2 Hosting, SiteGround and Bluehost, they are great hosting companies. So please go there and read about them and get a hosting plan. If you use one of my links in the articles, I will set up your WordPress and theme for free. Just send me an email to info at uploadvp.com that you bought the hosting plan from one of my articles. I can also build the whole website for you. Just yeah, send me an email to the same address and I will send you a quote. So let's go back to the website. Okay, so let's start to build the website and install WordPress and the theme. Okay, so in this uh, tutorial with the Vertex theme, I will use Bluehost. So I will log into my account. Then I will go to install WordPress. Go to install. Click on check domain. Okay, then check on I have read the terms. Then click on install now. Okay, so your install is complete. Click on View Credential. Go to View. Okay, so now you have the URL, admin URL, the username, and the password. So just copy the password and go to admin URL, add the username, add the password. And click on login. Okay, so if you go to the website right now, we have installed WordPress, but we have the basic uh, theme from WordPress, and we want to have a vertex theme. So then we go to dashboard. We want to go to appearance and themes. Go to upload. 
so now we want to have a file on uh, vertex 15 so then I will go to elegant themes I will log into my account I will leave a link below to elegant themes find vertex theme click on download choose theme package go and find the file and right click and choose compress vertex so now we have a zip file we will go back to the website click on choose file choose the zip file click on choose and install now go to activate okay so the vertex theme is installed we can go back to the website okay so this is how the website looks after you made an installation with the vertex theme from elegant themes so we have a menu we have a header we have our posts and we have a footer so first I want to change the menu so go to the dashboard go to pages click on all pages so this one sample page we can click on trash and now we want to add new pages so we want to have a blog so type in blog and then we go to page attributes click on template and you will find a blog page okay so then we go to publish then we want to have a portfolio so click on add new type in portfolio and choose template so we want to have a portfolio page then click on publish then we want to have a team page so click on add new So this will be our team. Go to template and choose team members page. Go to publish. And the last page will be a contact page. Type in uh, contact us. Then we go to template, choose contact page and click on publish. okay so then we go to appearance go to menus okay so now we have the menu so we have home blog and contact page we want to have in the bottom then we want to have portfolio our theme and contact page then we can rename this one to primary menu click on create menu then we go to menu settings so you can auto add pages so we want to have this one you can choose to have this as a primary menu and then click on save menu okay so then we go to the website And now we have the menu in order so home we have blog our blog post so recent posts recent comments archives categories meta then we go to portfolio so this is a portfolio our team and contact page okay okay so this is how you set up the menu now we're gonna set up the header okay so now we want to change this background 
we want to change the title and this call to action button. So to do this, go to dashboard, go down to appearance, choose vertex theme options. Okay, so this is vertex theme options. Here is where you can change all the design of the theme. So first we want to use general. You can also add a logo if you want. You can add a favicon. But in this tutorial we will add a header. So choose a background. Click on upload. Click on select files. Choose the file you want, click on choose, then go to select, then go to call to action button text. So we want to have our portfolio like that. So now we want to have this call to action button URL to have this. We want to go to save changes, go to the website, click on portfolio, and copy this URL, and go back to the dashboard, go to appearance, choose vertex theme options. Now we can uh, paste the URL right here, click on save changes. Okay, so you can choose to have a logo if you want, or you can choose to have the text, then you have to enable this one. If you don't want to have the text and you want to have a logo, you will disable this one. Okay, then we go to save changes. Go to the website, okay so now we want to change the site title, so go to dashboard, go down to settings, choose general, okay so under general settings you will add your site title, so we can add website creators then we want to add a tagline we build your website then go down and click on save changes go back to the website Okay, so now we have website creators, we build your website, and we have our portfolio and the background. Okay, so now we want to set up our first post, so we want to change this one, hello world. So we can click on more information. We can go up here to edit post. So here we can change this hello world post. You also find the post if you go here, click on post, choose all post. So first we want to change the title. Social media for your website. Then we can add some text. Like that. Now we can edit the text with all of these tools. You can just highlight a part of the text and choose to have it bold, italic. You can also choose to have a bullet list. Just hit enter and you will have a new bullet list. Like that. And we can add 
uh, headline so if we highlight this one and choose this one toolbar toggle go to paragraph and choose heading one like that and now we have a headline number one then we can add media just put the marker right here click on add media so I want to have this one click on insert into post and now if we click on the image we can have it to the left we can have it center or we can have it right we can also change the size like this and make it bigger we can also go to edit and change the size right here you can also make this image a link add a custom url like that and click on update so if you click on this image you will come to the url that you put in to the field okay so then we can go to categories you can add new categories so i've already added social media so i'll check this one and if you want to add a new one just click on add new category like that and then click on add new category so now we have business we also have social media we can add tags click on add like that and we can add a featured image so just click on set featured image choose the image you like and click on set featured image okay so then we go up and make sure that this one is checked as well because otherwise the article will not be shown on the first page the static page go to update go to the website and now we have the blog post right here on the static page we have the image, the featured image, we have the title, we have the text, we can also click on more information. And now we can read the whole post, we have the image, we have the title, the headline, we also have the featured image in the header as a background. We also see the title, the information about the post, one comment. To the left we see recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, our business and social media category, and meta information, site admin, logout, entries, and so on. Okay, so then we can go to blog, and we will also have it right here. Okay, so this is how you set up a blog post, and if you want to add a new post, you just go up here to the new and click on post and you can start to create a new post okay so this is how you create a new post if you go back to the website okay so now we want to add a portfolio so we go to portfolio then we go to new click on post so we will add a portfolio of websites that I have created. Then I will add a header just with a URL. Okay, so then I will add an image. This one, insert into post. I will also add a little bit of information about the site and I can add the URL. visit uploadvp.com and highlight a URL and go to insert link 
and I will add the URL to the website right here. Okay, then click on apply. Then I will go to add new category. I will type in portfolio. And choose add new category. I will add a featured image. So this one, click on set featured image. Then I will go to publish. Okay, so then we go to the website. Go to portfolio. Okay, so now we have the website here, here. And if you go to edit page, we can change this one. We can have a full wide page. We can show titles, we can show description, we can sh detect portrait images. We can choose to have it large, small, medium. So I want to have it large. Number of posts, I want to have 10. Then you can choose select gallery categories. I want to have portfolio. Then I will go to update. Go back to the website. Click on portfolio. Okay, so now we have website number one. We have website number two, uploadvp.com. And we can click on this one. And we will come to the post. We can read about the website. We can go to the website like that. Okay, so this is how you set up your portfolio like this. So now we want to set up our team. So we just go to new, click on team member. Here we add the name of the team member like that. And we're gonna add an image. Like that, click on set feature image. Now we're gonna add a position. Website creator, skill name, the skills. How many percent skills you have and add a new skill okay so when you are satisfied just go to publish and then you will add all of your team members when you are done you go to your website and have a look Okay, so the team members will end up here, and if you go to our team, we'll also have the team members right here. Now we can go and edit the Contact Us page. So just go to Edit Page. Choose if you want to have a full wide page. If you want to re generate CAPTA numbers and where you want to have the email. Like that. And if you want to add a feature image, okay, choose the image and click on set feature image. Click on update. 
then go back to the website click on contact us okay so we have the image in the background they can enter the name email address subject and message they will enter a CAPTA 9 plus 11 is 20 then they can submit their contact form so let's go back to the home page now we want to add widgets in the footer so to do this go up to this one go down to widgets and here we have available widgets right now so we can add a custom menu so we want to have this in widget number two add widget so we can add menu select menu primary menu and click on save okay and in the first footer we can add about me widget click on footer area one choose add widget okay so add a title and add an image a URL and type in something about yourself about the company like that and click on save and we can also add recent post to footer area 3 click on add widget title latest posts shoes number display post date yes or no click save go back to the website okay so now we have about me a menu and latest post okay so I hope this helped uh, please uh, let me know if you need some help Please uh, share this one. You can also subscribe to my channel for my other tutorials. And you have an awesome day. Bye.